Hello and welcome to another edition of Open Text on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about installing and using eDocs DM10 Consumer Webtop. My name is John Tan. I'm with Customer Support. I'm a technical analyst. With eDocs DM10, there are two web webtop interfaces available: the new Consumer Webtop and the familiar Classic Webtop. Classic Webtop is similar to DM 5.3.1 Webtop. The new Consumer Webtop is a much sleeker, uh, faster, more simple Webtop interface. The Consumer Webtop is geared towards the end user, so it doesn't contain any of the administrative tools you'd find in Classic Webtop. Both of these web interfaces can exist in the same environment. In this presentation, I'll focus on the new features in Consumer Webtop, as the Classic Webtop functions exactly the same as the DM 5.3.1 Webtop. First, let's head over to the DM server, which also is my web server. The DM10 web server is a separate install uh, from the classic web, top, uh, web server. You will find um, both of these have uh, MSIs. Uh, they can be installed separately. Um, you can have one installed without the other. In this case, I've installed both classic web top and consumer web top so that you can take a look and see the difference. I've already installed the DM10 web server. So let's take a look in Internet Information Services to see the difference between the two web interfaces. If you expand sites, default website. Here you'll see CyberDocs and eDocs. CyberDocs is your classic webtop. eDocs is your new consumer webtop. When you enter in the web address to get to these websites, to get to the classic webtop, you'll enter in your web server name, forward slash CyberDocs, if you want to get to the new consumer web top, you'll enter in your web server name forward slash edocs. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the client. One of the great new features uh, about the new consumer web top is that it will work with practically any web browser. Internet Explorer, um, Internet Explorer Edge, Google Chrome, Safari, and Firefox are all supported. And this is made possible by the fact that the new web top does not require Java. Um, I know Google Chrome uh, has a problem with that as it doesn't uh, support Java anymore. Uh, so the ability to uh, use this new web top uh, is made possible by the fact that we don't use Java anymore. I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Internet Explorer. And you'll notice that the top here, I've got my web server name forward slash edocs. As you can see, just from the login screen, it's a very different look. It's a lot cleaner, very simple. We've got username, password, choose your library, your time zone, uh, sign in default library only, and auto login.
Another thing that you'll find different about uh, the two different web tops is that the consumer web top does not need to be in compatibility view uh, for Internet Explorer, which is uh, very helpful. Uh, you don't have to, I know that caused a lot of problems for people uh, who had their IE locked down. Um, so that is definitely a, a, a plus there. And so you'll look at the web interface here, and again, it's very clean. Uh, things are very big and easy to get to. You'll also find that things are a lot faster. The interface is a lot snappier. Let's go ahead and start over at the user settings. These can be tailored to the individual user. You can choose your default search form, default profile form, set defaults for the profile form. You can choose to have it rendered in the modern style or in the classic style, the profile form. You can change the date formats. If you have auto logon uh, enabled on the server, you can check that off here as well. If you've got more than one search library, you can have that pick and choose which ones you want. The search results. You can set the different displays. And the last thing here is the default checkout location. This is basically the check-in checkout feature that you had in DM 5.3.1. It has been replaced by the uh, DM Web Helper. This will be available if you install the DM Web Helper, which is a separate install and can be installed straight from here. If you go back up to the username and go to Installations, you'll see eDocs Web Helper, and you can choose to install that. I've already installed that, and that is why you can see it down here. And you can set a default location. Looking over on the left hand side, we've got a couple of new features here. We've got the filter views and dynamic views. Starting off with the filter views, we've got recently edited quick searches, if you have any quick searches saved. Additionally, any searches you make up here will also show up in here. Of course, they won't be saved um, the next time you go, you look at it. But if you have any saved ones, they will appear there. Public folders, if you have any. Checked out documents and workspaces. Dynamic views. This is a new feature in the consumer web top. This is not available in the classic web top. This basically works exactly like uh, D dynamic views and DM extensions. We've got an add new document, paper document folder workspace, a profile search, and an easy search. Taking a look at the individual documents, the actions available are a lot like the ones you find in DM 5.3.1's and Classic Web Top. Uh, view will open it up, just like open here in the application. View HTML will open up another Internet Explorer window here. Profile. If you're familiar with DM10 uh, at all, you'll notice that the profile is the what we call the modern profile. It's a lot sleeker, a um, lot less fields. Uh, you'll notice that by default it does not show uh, a lot of these extra non-required fields. 
Again, this is so that it makes the whole process a lot faster uh, for the user filling in information. These are all required. All you have to do is fill these in. Uh, you don't even have to look at these if you don't want to. But obviously you can fill in information here as well. Secure document, for instance. Uh, fill in description, all of that you can fill in as well. Checkout. Again, we've got the checkout already set, copy to. which puts the check mark next to it and lets you know. Additionally, if you look in the checked out filter view, it will appear there as well. We can check it back in. Add to a folder, add to workspace, make read only history where used versions if you check on the click on the checkbox here that activates the buttons up here again same action items over here you can also choose to use the buttons as well. So add new. We'll go ahead and add in a new document here. As you can see it shows only the fields that are required, but you can expand for the additional fields if you'd like. You can type directly into these fields and they will get validated when you save the document and save the profile. So there's our new document that we saved. Same thing with paper document. Folder. And workspaces. Profile search works exactly the same way. If you've got more than one search library, you can search a specific library. As you can see, all of the documents that were saved with the C1 client now appear. The easy search will do a full We'll do a content search. Go ahead and enter in test, for instance. So we'll pull back any documents that have test in the, in the uh, contents. Dynamic views. Again, works exactly like you would in DM extensions. You can subscribe. You can save documents. If you've got more than one dynamic view, you can also toggle between that.
So I'm going to click on Add New all the way down in Client 1, Matter 1, PDF. You'll notice all of the fields are filled in. And if I looked at the level search in there, you'll find the document I just saved. So again, this is exactly how Dynamic Views works in DM extensions which is very nice to have now in the web top. Something you don't have in the classic web top. So as you can see, again, what we were, what they were going for was to make this a lot simpler, a lot faster, and a lot cleaner. And that is exactly what we have here um, with the new consumer web top. It is designed for the end user. It is designed with simplicity in mind, and your users will definitely like being able to move through this uh, web interface much faster than the classic web top. We'll not have to worry about Java limitations. Uh, here are some links. You've got the eDocs DM10 download location, the eDocs DM10 patches, and the web top user guide. Going back to the consumer web top here. There is now a help button up here as well, which has all of the documentation from the web top user guide. So if you have any questions on how something works or how to do something in the new web top, just click on that button, and it'll open up a new window, and you can find what you're looking for. And if you have any questions, um, you know, feel free to contact uh, the support center, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you enjoy the, uh, the new web top interface.